everyone welcome to ktrends 24 7 my name is cameron i have a video of moelitz mbeki exposing anc corrupt activities that they did previously which is costing the country today so he is mentioning uh, the fact that anc have removed fences and army at our border post and now people are entering south africa illegally by tabela and which is <laughs> costing us in south africa so i will reveal the challenges that we are facing because of a uh, illegal migrants who are coming to south africa let me play the video where moele zimbiki is unpacking all this you know it, it, it's there are a number of mistakes that uh the ANC government made uh, during its 28 years in power. And these mistakes are now catching up with, 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 the, with the government. One of the mistakes that the, the, the ANC made right at the beginning of its getting into power was to decide not to really control the borders of South Africa. <laughs> But how can you call that a mistake? How can you say the ANC ignoring the borders of South Africa, it is a mistake? It is not a mistake. It is not a mistake. Right now, when you say these things are mistakes, when you categorize what the ANC has done into the country as mistakes, you remind me of Fikil Mbalul. You remember, guys, Fikil Mbalul recently was speaking about the same things, that the ANC has made mistakes in the past 30 years. But these mistakes that the, these people are categorizing have destroyed people's lives. These things that you guys are talking about have destroyed people's lives. You can't tell me that people suffering in the hands of illegal immigrants, those things can be categorized as mistakes. Guys, these are not mistakes. These are not mistakes. And on this video, I'm honestly going to try not to talk about this issue that is talking about the issue of illegal immigrants. I'm going to try to focus on them as the leaders of the country, as the quote-unquote leaders, I'm going to try to focus on them because I do not agree that this is a mistake. This is not a mistake. And this, again, brings me to my favorite question. When did you know about all of these things? As much as we appreciate you guys going out, speaking out about what the ANC has been doing into the country, fine, it's okay. But when did you know about all of these things? Why didn't you say anything then? <laughs> Why did you wait? Why did you have to wait until the country is literally broken down before you guys can say anything? I mean, like, to me, it makes no sense. To me, it makes no sense. This is the same thing I was speaking about. That I mean, as much as I appreciate Tabumbiki going out and speaking out against the African National Congress, the question, the, the, the point is that you didn't do it sooner. You didn't do it sooner. One of the things that Tabumbeki loves talking about is that most of the people who joined the African National Congress, they joined the ANC because they see the ANC as the gravy train. They didn't join the African National Congress because they wanted to help the poor citizens of this country. They only wanted to join the African National Congress because they wanted a chance to loot and steal. I mean, if you knew about all of those things, what did you do in the African National Congress? As much as you are coming out right now and telling South Africans that Many people joined the African National Congress simply because they want to loot and steal. Why didn't you do anything? And when did you realize that the people are joining the African National Congress simply to loot and steal? I mean, right now, as much as most of you guys are bashing Ramaphosa for not being able to transform the party, how the hell do you expect Ramaphosa to transform a party that was long infiltrated by thugs? How do you expect him to transform the kind of a party? There's no way anyone can transform the ANC at this moment. Even Jesus himself will never transform the African National Congress. So as much as you are, we are okay with Ben Tarin Cyril Ramaphosa, but you guys, the people who actually had a chance to do something about the African National Congress, didn't do anything then. But the same people today, they are crying that the African National Congress is a corrupt political party. I mean, to me, it makes no sense, man. And to me, it makes no sense, honestly. Waiting until things get really bad before we start speaking out. Waiting until things get... Man, I don't even think right now things are going to be fixed in South Africa. 
I don't think South Africa can be fixed at this point, man. It's going to take us like 20, 30, 50 years to fix the damage of the African National Congress. And some of the people that are speaking out against the African National Congress, they were there within the party. They were there, loyal to the African National Congress while the ANC was committing all of these crimes. Now they are getting old. Maybe their conscience is getting to them. They are saying, man, I cannot go to the grave with all of these secrets. I'm going to expose them. When I go to the grave, I want to be a clean man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a clean man. But to me, these people, man, they don't make sense to me. As much as I appreciate everything they do, as much as I appreciate the information they're bringing forward, but me, personally, to them, I mean, like, they don't make sense to me. They don't make sense to me. Uh, the first decision, one of the first decisions the ANC made was to first to stop the electric fight front fans mm. that uh, the previous regime uh, had installed so they 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 pulled down the the the, the, the electric fence of course they had to bring down the electric fence there were a apartheid electric fences <laughs> there were apartheid electric fences man <laughs> The ANC was like, man, there's no way we're going to keep these apartheid electric fences. No way. We are taking them down. We don't care if illegal immigrants invade South Africa. We don't care about that. But these electric, apart these electric apartheid fences, they cannot stand. They cannot stand. <laughs> because it sounds like this is how the African National Congress operates. It sounds like this is how the cadres in the NEC actually reason. <laughs> a whole governing party uh, taking down an electric fence at the board. Why would anyone do that? Why would anyone do that, man? If you, 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 you get to govern a country and you find that a previous administration had already installed an electric fence, man, I'm going to go to the person that was running the country before and I'm going to shake his hand and say, thank you so much, man, for saving me the trouble. Thank you so much for saving me the trouble, man. People were going to scrutinize me for not being able to keep the country safe. But because of you, I now have this electric fence that I'm going to use to keep out all of these bad people out. <laughs> Secondly, they removed the army from border control and said border control is a police matter. <laughs> now, South Africa has 3,000 kilometers of land border, a and land border has no roads. So you need off-the-road vehicles, which means you need military vehicles to control your borders. Mm. The NC government removed the army from border patrol and decided that this is a police matter. Let's leave it to the police. Let me comment. <laughs> Guys, it sounds like these people knew exactly what they were doing, man. It sounds like these people knew exactly what they were doing. First, they got rid of the apartheid electric fence. <laughs> and now they got rid of the apartheid military at the borders. And said, we're going to replace them with the freedom and democracy South African police service. We're going to give them, man, the liberated South African police service to guard the borders. If South Africans had thought that the military was doing a wonderful job back then, keeping the people out, now we're going to give them the revolutionary South African police service to keep the illegal immigrants out. <laughs> How did it work out? How did it work out? Today, man, in South Africa, the issue of Ill illegal immigration, it is one issue that is burning in the country. Man. People are so emotional when they talk about illegal immigration. I don't think politicians understand how serious this issue of illegal immigration is. I honestly don't think they understand. People are literally pissed off. People are pissed off, man, and hearing all of these revelations about the African National Congress, I am not surprised to hear all of these things about the ANC, man. I told you guys, there's nothing that is going to surprise me with African National Congress right now. Nothing is going to surprise me. Everything that I hear about the African National Congress, everyone who comes out and exposes the ANC in any way, shape, or form, I'm like, okay, I'm used to this. I'm used to this. I mean, like, even right now, South Africans, man, when they hear stuff like this, it's almost as if, like, some people are just making up stories about the ANC. It doesn't matter. We are still going to vote for the African National Congress. That's how South Africans operate. That's how South Africans operate, man. It makes no sense. Like, people are revealing everything they know. 
people are revealing everything they know and i appreciate mo elitsimbe so much for coming out and breaking it out how the african national congressman destroyed the south african borders i appreciate him so much as much as i can criticize him i also appreciate him for coming out and telling south africans how it is, how, how how really it is decided that this is a police matter let's leave it to the police let me comment on this one that the ANC have removed uh, guards on our border posts and now people uh, are passing freely uh, entering our country illegally okay a uh, previous week yeah previous weeks um Gaten McKenzie was at uh, Limpopo River they are using Limpopo River uh, to illegally enter South Africa sorry, people sorry, from sorry. Mozambique and also people from Zimbabwe they are using Limpopo River the time Gaten McKenzie was there he realized that uh, there are no securities guarding the place there's no military guarding the place everything uh, that uh, Moeli Zimbabwe have mentioned that ANC have removed all those things into our border post and now people are entering illegally so <laughs> and when you talk about this whole thing man when you really think about this whole thing right now as we speak the joke is on south africans the joke is on south africans man south africans are saying guys these people from mozambique and, and zimbabwe they are coming in high numbers in south africa can south african government please do something about it can south african government please do something about it ramaphosa are formed a border management agency guess with who Emerson Munangao. I mean, <laughs> this whole thing is a joke. This whole thing is a it's a joke. Two days back, I was watching news. Then I saw a report saying like, I think twenty three thousand people have been deported in South Africa. Man, I was like, man, these people are lying. These people are lying. They know that right now the useless border management authority was exposed by Gaten McKenzie and Patriotic Alliance. They knew that there was literally no one guarding the borders there in Limpopo they knew that right now they are coming out and saying that over 20,000 people were deported from South Africa and they are expecting South Africans to honestly believe that and they are expecting you to believe that just imagine man you, you, you want to form a border management agency that is going to guard South Africans against particular countries then you're gonna form that border management agency with the same president who is making it sure that the Zimbabweans do not live in their own countries you go there with a Zimbabwean dictator to say that we are going to form a border management agency. We are going to shake hands in front of everyone. And it's almost like uh, Ramaphosa was like saying, yeah, Mnangawa is going to keep his people in Zimbabwe and we're going to keep our people in South Africa. And we're going to use this border management agency thing as a tool to make that thing happen. It is a joke. It is a joke. South Af There's no way South Africans can complain about the millions and millions of Zimbabwe jumping into South Africa. Then you going out for the, forming a border management agency with a Zimbabwean regime that is capable, I mean, the, the Zimbabwean regime that is making sure that Zimbabweans could, cannot live in their own country. The Zimbabwean regime that is making sure that the Zimbabweans lives are living hell. You go there and form that border management agency with those people. <laughs> Man, I'm sure sometimes politicians are laughing at us politicians they must be laughing at south africans at this point i believe that the politicians in south africa they are laughing at us they are laughing at us each and every day they are laughing at us they can't believe the kind of tolerance we have towards them we have so much tolerance towards the politicians that are doing nothing but destroying south africa these people are laughing at us these people they have the best medical care they have the best security they are taking their children to the best schools the best universities they are giving you these public hospitals they are giving you this a 30 percent ngmo education system and they are giving you these african national congress governance and cadres to govern over you while they take their children overseas to, to get the best education they are laughing at you oh this is bad because it is affecting us as south african citizens like this we have too much crime in south africa i'm not saying i'm not being racist don't get me wrong i'm not being racist but the majority of foreigners who are committing crime in our country are the ones who entered illegally because they can't be found they can't trace them because they don't have their personal information but if you enter legally 
we will have your passport we will have everything your belongings uh, your fingerprints everything so that even if you can commit crime we will know that it's you by fingerprints by all these uh, sort of things by a uh, facial recognition we will see that okay we know this person we have his or her passport only if you entered the country legally but i mean like go go and try to tell that to the eff supporters man go and try to explain that to the eff supporters and the and the illegal immigrants uh, uh, activists in south africa go and try to explain that slowly to these people man it makes no sense how these people for some reason favor a policy that puts south africans in danger how do you favor a policy that puts south african lives in danger i mean like that is not rocket science that is not rocket science the south africans calling for these people to come into the country legally that is not rocket science it is not rocket science, but for some reason, politicians have found a way to politicize this whole thing. They found a way to politicize this whole thing. Right now, the same ANC that destroyed the borders, like it, like Moeli Zimbik is saying, it was mad when Patriotic Alliance and Gitchin McKenzie went to the borders. They were mad. They were mad. The Minister of Defense, Tandimudise, came out swinging, saying that what Patriotic Alliance did is illegal. They want to lay the charges against Patriotic Alliance. They don't care about people who are jumping the country illegally. They don't care about those people. They want to charge Patriotic Alliance because what Patriotic Alliance did, it was illegal. It is the job of the Border Management Agency. It is the board. It is the job of the South African National Defense Force to guard the borders. How is it their job when they were not there, when people are jumping the borders? How is it their job? How is it their job? So what, what, what was really the intention to open up the borders in South Africa. What was the intention? You know, sometimes you'll hear the cadres saying that some of our cadres uh, fled to some of these countries and this is the reason why we must open up our borders for these people. So are people honestly telling us that we are going to trade millions and millions of people for few cadres? Are people telling us that a few ANC cadres going out to live in Mozambique, going out to live in Zambia? Is South, African, South Af is South Africa supposed to open up its doors for millions and millions of people? Because few cadres from the African National Congress went to, to, to live in that country. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Then they want to, to, to portray it as if these people helped us fight against apartheid because these people took our people when the apartheid regime was hunting them down. So few ANC cadres, the whole country is supposed to suffer because a few ANC cadres went to live in exile. The whole country is supposed to suffer because of that. But if you have entered illegally, the country can't do that. They can't trace you. So most of these guys who came illegally, they commit all these crimes. They sell drugs uh, to, 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 to the younger generation. Look what is happening in Josie. The Nigerians have taken over Johannesburg. So, guys, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not being racist. I'm not saying that people uh, must not come. Again, man, again, a young boy, you need to stop explaining yourself, man. You've made your point very clear. You've made your point very clear. And you, and you spoke sense. There's no need for you to explain, to explain yourself. Right now, when people are calling South Africans as xenophobic, when people are calling us xenophobic, when we talk about these things, it clearly shows that these people are not interested in having conversations. Everyone who, who, who is sane in South Africa, they can have this conversation. And everyone who is sane understands what you are trying to say. It's only people who are trying not to understand what you're saying that will call you xenophobic, they will call you, they will call you racist, they will call you all sorts of names. These people are not even interested in hearing what you want to say. But right now, you've made your point very clear. You've made your point very clear. Come to South Africa. They must come, but legally. Make a passport, make a visa, and then visit South Africa. If you visit South Africa like that, you will be welcomed. But if you come illegally, it's a problem. What if you are, you, you are coming with malaria? 
there are many diseases uh, in Africa and our borders are made for that to make sure that when you enter the country you vaccinate when you enter the country they check you uzanani the types of food that you guys are bringing in South Africa some of them cause diseases so guys this is a problem this is a problem i think the ANC must fix this Gaten McKenzie uh, was complaining about it. Now Mueli Zimbeki is complaining about it. This is an issue. ANC must fix this. <laughs> but that's the thing. ANC will never be able to fix this. ANC will never be able to fix this. They've destroyed so much. And for us to expect them to fix anything, man, it makes no sense. There is no way these people are going to fix this. There is no way these people are going to fix this. I guess, man, at this point, looking at where South Africa is, I'm going to go back to the criticism I had for Moelet Mbeki and Tabu Mbeki and other kiddos that have been speaking out against the African National Congress. Man, how, how, like, why? Why? Like, it took so long for some of these people to speak out, man. It took so long. The country was breaking down. They knew everything the party was doing. They knew everything the party was doing. But for some reason, they kept quiet. They kept quiet. You remember Mavusam Sama? Mavusam Smang saying that I'm leaving the African National Congress because this party has basically failed black people. After one meeting with the African National Congress, Mavusam Smang is coming back that I'm rescinding my resignation from the African National Congress. I'm going back to mean the cadre. All of those things that I was speaking about, they no longer count. All of those things that I was speaking about, they no longer count. So Mavusam Smang is one person in particular that actually made me aware that these people are actually aware of what is happening. They are aware of what is happening because as soon as they get out of the African National Congress, they start speaking out about these things. It's Mahashule, Jacob Zuma. They are doing the same things. They are going out right now, telling South Africans how bad the African National Congress is. But these are the same people that were within the African National Congress part, and they didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. So, why, like, are, are we supposed to, to, to say these people have credibility for coming out and speaking out about these things when they didn't speak out? when it really mattered. Are we supposed to give these people credit that guys, these people are doing their best to save South Africa? I don't know, man. Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabao, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye.